What's up guys, hey it's Jay here and today I'm bringing you a review of EA Sports UFC. Now for any of you who don't know, this is the first title published and developed by EA for the UFC sport and I really hope that they turn this into a franchise because from what I've made of this game there has a lot of potential but they just haven't gotten some things right that I feel are essential to making a realistic simulator. In saying that, the presentation of each fight is excellent and it allows you to feel as though you're watching an actual UFC fight. The commentary is also pretty good with commentators reacting to solid punches, landed kicks and things like that. There are also some really good fighting animations on display with unique characteristics to each fighter, but one of the things that I have noticed is that you will find that most people can be defeated in the same way, no matter what their strengths are, whether it's ground or stand-up fighting. Unfortunately, the controls can be quite a challenge to get used to, particularly when it comes to grappling and submissions. If you're not willing to put the time into those aspects of the game, you'll find it really hard to master them. And therefore, I'd just suggest uh, focusing on stand-up fighting rather than grappling and taking the fight to the ground. As I said before, there's really not much use for it if you can master stand-up fighting. Another thing that I found kind of odd about this game was the abnormal amounts of health and the amount of damage that you could take from solid punches and kicks and things like that. It really makes it hard to believe that you're in a realistic simulator. However, if you aren't precise with when and what you choose to attack your opponent with, you can be knocked out with one or two blows which, in essence, kind of replicates the way that the UFC is, but in other instances, if you're blocking and you cop a solid blow, it really doesn't do much to you. The sound effects in this game are also pretty poor. It, it's basically generic fighting sound effects, really. I think that they've, they've taken real uh, sounds from actual fighting, but something's gone wrong with the way that they've implemented it into this game, and it just doesn't sound realistic. And you've basically got your standard generic music for entrances and background music while you're in the menus and things like that. One of the things that did impress me about this game were the graphics. It possibly has the best graphics and character models of any sports game that's currently on the market, and bodies become visibly worse as the fight progresses, with cuts and bruises becoming more prevalent as the ferocity of each fight increases. Another kind of poor thing about this game is the frame rate drops which I noticed on the PS4. It it happens quite often where you will notice frame rate drops in your gameplay and in cutscenes and things like that. And long load times also ruin the experience when you're just looking for a quick fight to fill some time. Unfortunately, if you're looking for depth in a sports game, UFC really isn't where you're going to get it. The online is broken and with around 5,000 players online I was unable to find a single match I was looking for about 20 minutes. The career mode is solid for those who want to work through an entire career of a fighter, but there's pretty much stuff all on offer after the first few training sessions and after you win a title. The character customization is poor to say the least, with no sliders to allow complete customization of your character, like in FIFA, and it's also impossible as far as I could tell to change weight classes, and despite fighters retiring and new challenges emerging, there was very little challenge on offer after you got the upper hand on the greats. You retire when you've taken too much damage over your career, and after my 15-year career, I finished with 35 wins and 3 losses, with each fight being decided by knockout. Despite the occasional cameos from current UFC fighters and from Dana White and the skills progression system for all fighters, the game lacks a depth that would keep you interested after more than one career mode. In my opinion, UFC is a solid game. It, it's the first time that EA has put out a game regarding UFC and trying to emulate the conditions that UFC fighters basically perform in. But if you're looking to get any more than, say, 10 hours out of it in single-player mode, you'd be pushing pushing your luck there because, honestly, I think that this is a game best played with mates at a party or something like that just to fill in some extra time. It's really not going to sustain you for very long. And despite having some pretty decent gameplay, there's just not enough depth there to keep you interested for long periods of time. Despite being a solid game, at the most, I can only give EA Sports UFC a 7.5 out of 10. And if you're looking to get it, I'd highly recommend borrowing it off a friend or renting it if that even exists these days. God knows if it does. And yeah, that's pretty much my impressions on EA Sports UFC. Thanks for watching my review and until next time, goodbye.